Thank you, Mr. Speaker. A few weeks back, the NDP were all wild-eyed and scared to come back to work, as you may recall. Well, they're feeling better now because they're back on that fear and smear campaign. The members opposite continue to misrepresent the facts to Albertans despite of being repeatedly corrected in this House. The most recent target, the Alberta Energy Regulator's decision to defer some environmental reporting. Members opposite, including the NDP leader, continue to state in this House in public that there is no environmental monitoring taking place across the oil and gas sector. These statements are completely false and absolutely, utterly ridiculous. The AER, an independent arm's length regulatory body, established two guiding principles to balance worker safety, public health guidelines, and environmental stewardship during COVID-19. Firstly, exemptions would be low risk for potential short-term impacts. Secondly, it must be noted that public health orders pose a challenge to completing normal monitoring activity. Companies continue to regularly monitor surface water and uh, groundwater quality. All emission controls and regular air monitoring re programs remain in place. All wildlife deterrence mitigations remain in place. Again, Mr. Speaker, in this very house and telling community members opposite are telling people that there are no wildlife protections in place even though they, they know this is a complete fabrication. It's clear the NDP have taken a page right out of the socialist playbook. If you repeat it enough times, it'll make it true. Furthermore, repeatedly spreading misinformation and falsehoods at such scale damages Alberta's reputation. Environmental and social governance is an important factor in the international investment community. Alberta is actually a leader in ESG. It is really a disservice to Albertans. The NDP spends so much of their time and energy to try to score keep cheap political points while chasing oil and gas investment out of this province. Maybe the NDP is still mad about their social license, or maybe, just maybe, this ongoing campaign is to degrade Canada's energy industry is simply an obligation to the leaked manifesto. Perhaps if they watch Planet of the Humans, they'd have their eyes opened. To the NDP, how about working with us to get the economy going again and stop your childish games? Yeah. Yeah.